samples from the ocean poses some challenges compared to the datingum samples from land due to the impact of the marine reservoir effect on radiocarbon uptake. Oceans are large carbon-14 reservoirs. Surfaces of oceans have two sources of radiocarbon, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere as well as from the deep ocean. The deep ocean radiocarbon is inherently much older than atmospheric radiocarbon, and thus it creates an offset between radiocarbon signatures of marine organisms compared to land organisms. Since much of the carbon consumed by organisms in the ocean is older than that consumed by organisms on land, samples of marine life and from organisms that consumed a lot of sea-based foods while alive may appear to be older when tested than they truly are. It is necessary to account for changes in the Earth's oceans to correct for this marine reservoir effect. Typically, affected radiocarbon ages appear to be about 400 radiocarbon years older than they would if unaffected, as you can see from the sea lions on this diagram. But the effect is highly variable geographically, potentially reaching an age offset of 800 to 1200 radiocarbon years in Arctic regions. This marine reservoir effect can be corrected for using a few methods, including radiocarbon dating of shell samples from high-integrity archaeological contexts that are assumed to be contemporaneous, or paired radiocarbon and uranium-thorium dating of live corals or long-lived shells with clear annual growth bands. It's important to inform beta analytic if your sample is marine in origin or may have a strong connection to marine or organisms, for example, a civilization known to consume significant amounts of fish, as well as letting us know the geographic origin of your sample. With this information, we can select appropriate correction methods to ensure you receive the most accurate date ranges for your research.